Goosebones fans. Hopefully the mic is better than it was previously, which, hmm. Hold on. Wow. Oh, that's because the sound on the flap, you freaking idiot. Sorry, folks, I was just having an issue being like, why the sound isn't that good? <laughs> Anyways, for those who don't know, if you have a question of what's going on with the game, definitely check out Grim. He's the one who's going to tell you the full thing. I'm just going to give you a short and sweet thing. They are actually at an impasse. They're at an impasse, they're at a pause, they're at a parade rest. That's what's going on with the game. So this is a great time for anyone out there who wants to start the game to do it without any interruptions. No offense, calling it events interruptions, but you get to play the game without actually caring. Oh, there's another, there's an event. Gotta play the event, you gotta do the event. It's like now you get to have the fun time of enjoying it straight as it was you know straight as it was even though events came every month now you have a good pause of where you can decide to do whatever you want enjoy have fun yeah <laughs> um some little glitches for me is that i have conrad now i finally got conrad and i played his story and was good the only messed up part is that his story disappeared even though I did remember he wanted to have the snowballs because the abominable snowman has magical powers and it was able to help him power himself up even further to apparently freeze the entire world. What the fuck is this going on here? He, he wants to freeze the whole entire world. What the frick? Oh God, what the frick is like, um, a hey, dude, um, comrade, um, just so you know, there's a movie called Batman and Robin who already did that same crap beforehand, so you might look like you're copying them, so <laughs> just saying, you might want to freeze everyone responsible of that movie first before you freeze the whole entire world, or you look like a copycat, that you just got it straight out of the freaking movie. <laughs> So that disappeared. Um, the grease of the palms thing disappeared. As you can see here, there's really nothing here. I was able to fat, I mean, continue on with her. So now it's just stuck. We're just like, oh, got to get the Internet Cafe. It's like, yeah, so we're now basically stuck. <laughs> it's like, yes, we're basically stuck. All right. So besides that, I think it's it's getting ready. Yeah, just a few seconds. So my thoughts on this is that, am I going to quit? No, no, no. I have more stuff to do. You understand what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to actually do it without any help from any of the monies. Yes, yeah, so basically, I'm just trying to do it without any help at all for money. And oh, note, I finally put it on Facebook. So it's official. A Facebook account is linked to this account. See, change account. So the good news is that if I wanted to, I can go to Grim or KC. But KC won't be playing as much. But go to KC, go to anyone, um, go to Dylan. Yeah, go to one of them, and it's like, yeah, there he goes. Isn't that awesome? It's like now we could actually visit around and see how visiting works. It's like, I remember Simpsons Tap Out, it's like, man, it's been a long time since I even mentioned Simpsons Tap Out, right? <laughs> and it's like, yeah, Simpsons Tap Out, you were able to do graffiti and stuff, and it looks like here you might be able to do something. I guess maybe plant the G's over there. Let me check. Oh, so I can get it. It's like, yeah, you see? It's like, yeah, thank you, Grim. It's like, I didn't know where the hell the circle was, and I was like... Um, I think it was in an abandoned bunker and it's like it is abandoned bunk and it's like oh Because I thought that was actually tied to beasts from the east, but apparently not <laughs> It's like yes, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm a freaking idiot All right, so besides that uh, Yeah, I'm not gonna leave. I'm gonna stay here and well if I some you know I will say, <clears throat> I will say that if the game just 
goes away, I would be kind of like saddened and then try to grow back, go, not grow, try to actually crawl back to Simpsons Tower. I'd be like, please, baby, please. I tried to come back to you, but you know, you chased the lock of the door. Please let me in. We had good times until you freaking threw my Lego set down to the floor. It's like I had the monorail set completed, you jerk ass. And it's like, please come back though. Please let me come back. It's like, that's what's like what happened is that. <laughs> 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 sorry, sorry. <clears throat> so, I do have an interesting thought, and it was kind of funny that I recorded it when I was kind of sleepy, and I heard what Grim was talking about the fact of we should support them, support them by buying a pack. And I was like, you know, and I did that in his, I did that in his yeah in comment section where I was like, well, if you actually want to do something and you already bought all the packs and you want to buy them again, donate them to me. <laughs> it's like, yes, the Teletubbies are standing by just in case you think it's a good idea to actually say, I withdraw our payment. <laughs> Get them! Bam them in the head! It's like, oh my gosh, I love those Teletubbies. I love them. All right, um, just a short, brief thing to talk about. I'm also going to go in full detail later. It's the idea of... I finally actually look at my collection, be like there's many multiples, and start slashing collection, slashing the collection out a little bit. So it's a good idea. I actually did look. I have 36 books that I'm like, I'm cool selling them. And the idea would be this is that I'll sell it to you guys. You guys buy them and 50% something like that would actually be like okay we're gonna put that money into buying a pack a bundle and you guys will actually be there to actually put a bid on what bundle to get it's like that's also it's like yo yeah. but anyways yeah I have a video and I don't know if I really actually gonna have the stones to put it up but just saying this is like one alternative of what I could do. <laughs> the interesting part is like how much will the bundle cost? <laughs> and then we get to the idea of, okay, let's talk about what's going on. I know, I know. Go to the Grim if you want the full details, but here's just my thoughts on it. Is that this is not classic being greedy and I withdraw my statement, but we do kind of have to admit one thing is that they their standards of what they put for the game has to perform to and what the revenue has to get up to is kind of stupid and crap i know i'm sorry to say that but it is kind of stupid and crappy you ask me why and i'm like well the thing is is that this is the only thing they're getting money out of am i correct this is technically the only thing they're getting money out of besides getting books that's it their freaking merchandising is nowhere to be found whatsoever. So since there's no one, <laughs> you would kind of figure it's like, well, some money is better than no money, am I right? So let them keep going. <laughs> I mean, if you really truly wanted to have money, here's the thing. Like, let's just do the idea that I was thinking about. It's like the whole dancing part. It's like, so right now, many people are dancing, shaking their groove thing. For me, I'm like, I'm not doing that much. If they really want me to shake my groove thing, AKA give them lots and lots of money, they should have been doing merchandising stuff. They should have been had like, oh, you know, look at Hot Wheels. Can't we put our books on Hot Wheel cars? Can we actually put some of our characters on the Hot Wheels? Can we, it's like, yeah, that's all you have to do is just go to the 90s freaking thing or get new and then and then and then and then put them on the freaking Hot Wheel cars. And it's like, hey, and then I'm just shaking my groove thing on the freaking aisle and just put all of them, collect them all right in the freaking basket and just go to freaking out. That, there we go. What about Lego or freaking Mega Constructs? I don't see why in the world you're not doing that yet. <laughs> what about Pops? Even though I don't really care about Funko Pops, but hey, lots of people care. And it's like, they're able to do anything. They would do anything, even though that's maybe a lie, but one comic book, I mean, one 
cartoon show said they will put make anything for go pops they'll make anything i even asked the person it's like hey um will you guys ever make a slappy funko pop or anything goosebumps and sadly he just gave me a gift looking at me and that's basically it <laughs> slappy just in episode in the original first episode in quotations first episode just you know when his eyes just dart right at the start of the screen and look at you that's what he gave me as the freaking <laughs> reply so i don't know how to take that it's like yeah if you understand what in the world does that gift even means let me know <laughs> But it's like, you're putting money, you're leaving money on the table. If you really actually wanted money and you have a standard, then why in the world aren't you doing more than what you're doing right now? I'm just saying, it makes perfect sense that you kind of sort of shouldn't have demands like this. I mean, you should be able to just take what they got, notice that it does actually is a bit profitable and be happy with it. And to actually be stupid enough, which I, hope they're not but sadly um ask creepy co hey creepy co was it awesome and incredible that they continued working with you no they stopped working after two masks are you serious don't you have more masks you could have made yes and they stopped us <laughs> see it's like yes that's like one of the things is like wow so if they're able to actually pull the plug on Creepy Co, who's to say that they're actually not smart enough to say we should keep them? <laughs> he's like, he's like, they're not smart enough to destroy them. <laughs> so I guess, but they might not be smart enough to actually say these guys are okay. They're actually doing something cool, and we should keep them. For all we know, they could easily just be like, oh, it's another Creepy Co situation. Okay, let's, 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 bam, dead. And not to mention, a TV show is coming up, so it's like, dude, <laughs> there's no way, shape, or form they could actually pull the plug. Right now, it's not really that. What they are technically doing is letting them get to the point of, hey, you can raise the money to get it noticeable so we can continue on with this. And it's like, didn't they actually show that people are interested enough <laughs> I'm sorry, but we you can't have a standard saying you have to make this much money for us to actually continue on to renew our freaking whatever. It's like, no, you can't say that crap if you're not actually doing anything to actually make it like, oh, you actually are doing something to get money. It's like, the only thing you're doing is books. And of course, I know Retro tends to, yes, they released the board game, yes, they're going to release an art book, but the thing is, is that, oh, the board game, <laughs> oh, yeah, the board game, I'm pretty sure that's internal, just like the previous board game that looks kind of freaking cheap, sorry, but it's true, so it's like, yeah, so if you're not really 100% reaching for it, which... Let me try to remember, is there anyone else that actually is doing third party that they actually shook hands and said yes to? Again, Creepy Co. is down, but I think there's others that might be doing it, but I'm not sure they're not actually really, you know, letting them do it. I'm not sure. There's some that's actually just doing it for the heck of it, and Scholastic has no idea they're doing it, and thank goodness they're not, because they could actually be starting to be like, where's my money? Where's my money? It's like, good God. <laughs> So that's just the thing that's going on right now and sorry for the little just staying here not even doing anything just freaking saying stuff but for right now the good news is that i'm not gonna leave anytime soon we'll see how long it takes maybe it could take so long to where i actually get to have all of the goosebumps bucks characters as for the development of being like, you guys can fund me. <laughs> yes, of crowdfunding um, event of where I actually give you guys books and maybe even a book DVD combo and stuff like that. And it's like, yes, you could have a claim of what book I'm going to check out and do. But anyways, I think we're just going to end it here. Have a scary day. Have a scary night.